everybody and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution where this is an update video because it was finally announced. Now if you didn't know there was a summer update coming to Jurassic World Evolution. Um, and for the longest time, uh, pe for people have been wanting more customization with this game. That being uh, to edit the terrain, or maybe to control dinosaurs, or just to edit the landscape, or decorations. These were the, the biggest ones that people or the community were asking for. And today, less than an hour ago, on Instagram, on Twitter, Jurassic World Evolution dropped this image. And not only did they drop that image, they also dropped an article. So while we tour Jurassic World, um, I thought and the immense possibilities that can now be presented to us on a beautiful platter. So here, here we go, I'll read it all for you. I'll spare no detail, no stone, uh, pun intended, unturned. Hello park managers, we are excited to bring you a new update to Jurassic World Evolution this summer, which will feature a huge selection of additions and improvements. To give you some insight into what to expect, we'll publish three weekly focus articles to give you an overview of some of the content coming soon. Our first feature focus is on the topic we know a good number of you are interested in learning about. Then it's followed by the, of course, the amazing image, the, the beautiful, beautiful image we have all been waiting for. We can see, if we have a look at the image, you can see there's three types of terrain modification tools there. You have a grass tool, you have a rock terrain tool, and a dirt terrain tool there. Um, also, just a heads up, Frontier have said that you won't have those same brushes on all the islands. Some islands will have specific brushes. So in Isla Murta, for instance, I think it was said on Twitter, you will have a sand brush because if you know, there's on that part of the island, oh, look at the hotels. Oh, fabulous. Um, on that island, there is a large chunk uh, of dedicated sand portion. There's a beach there. Um, so moving on, here we go. We'll, we'll learn a little bit more here. Terrain painting and scenery improvements. So. A few of you noticed our little easter egg in the last developer spotlight picture from a few weeks ago. If you don't know what they're talking about there, there were some strangely placed uh, photo frames. And in those photo frames were even stranger pictures. And they were of rock, of sand, and obviously other terrain. And this was their hint. Uh, whilst we're sure many people do enjoy rocks and the sun, it's still a bit unusual to have framed photos of them on your desk. <laughs> These were, of course, hints towards our new environmental improvements coming to Jurassic World Evolution that will let you style your parks to make them even more unique. With update 1.8, we'll be adding a number of terrain painting and scenario improvements, or sorry, I should say scenery improvements, and we're going to highlight a selection of those today. So, moving on to the first one, terrain painting. Update 1.8 introduces a selection of terrain brush tools that will allow you to alter the land textures of your parks. These will be specific to each island. Well, there we go, like I said before, allowing you to create your individual areas while still ensuring each island retains its own unique feel and personality, which I can, of course, get behind completely. Otherwise, why would you not go on some islands? Because there's some really small islands and who cares about those? <laughs> uh, you will be able to theme areas with rock, mud, and grass effects. And certain islands, like Murta, will feature sand brushes to help you create those lush be beachfront dinosaur resorts you've always dreamed of. As these materials are used as the base for the islands themselves, we had to put in some work to pull them out for the brush system to use. That's them saying, sorry it took us a while, it's more complicated than you think, <laughs> in other words. Some core framework changes were needed to ensure that we maintained performance and save game size. Of course, because Frontier are working on multiple platforms, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. However, we wanted to expand the existing available terrain and give park creators the freedom we've had in creating these islands. These new terrain brushes will complement the existing grass options. No research unlocks necessary. So that's quite nice. So we can load in. I don't have to load in multiple save files, un you know, research them all and get them all done. So that's really nice. We've also added a 
a toggle option to show elevation contour lines. Oh, that now that that little line there, the, the Baryonyx is incredibly happy about that too. Basically means instead of us guessing whether something's flat when we're placing a building, we might be able to see it. <laughs> so that I'm really, really happy about. Ooh, any Dilophosaurs? Ooh. Well, the Lophosaurs are up there with the Baryonyx. There's only Sukumimus in there. Um, shrub tools. Moving on to the next bit. New shrub brushes will be available with update 1.8. These will give you the option to place all different shrub types from each island in any park you like. Want to add an Isla Penna shrubs to Isla Murta? Go for it. So basically, we're going to get every sort of different bush and scru scrub shrub that is in the game. And unlike the terrain, they will be able to be placed placed on any of the islands. We've also added a new vibrant shrub type to allow even more creative freedom with the vegetation in your parks. So we're going to get even new ones that we haven't seen before. The different shrub types were originally envisioned as part of the differentiation <laughs> between the different islands, but we wanted to progress that so they could be used on all of the islands. As with the painting, we needed to ensure that occurred without increasing memory or save game size and without impacting performance. Again, and we've reiterating the point that this is taking time. You'll find these new shrubs right next to the existing tree and shrubs icons uh, from the moment after you install and update the game. They'll work out of the box with the new terrain brushes as well, helping you create a perfect capture mode shot. Well, if if anything, we can now make a great, great shots with the uh, capture mode that's just been recently implemented into the game. Um, and I think this is the final segment. Yes, the natural scenery items. With update 1.8, you'll be given the tools to add new scenario items or scenery items to the game. These new scenery items include individual rocks and trees, which can be placed around your park so you can craft fantastic new layouts to your enclosures. So these are gonna be... These, these are what we're waiting for. We wanted rocks, we wanted trees, we wanted to make waterfalls and all that jazz. And it looks like now we can finally do it. These will be natural scenery items so that they will fit thematically in your enclosures. Uh, so can we place those? I'm hoping we can place that. I didn't specifically say uh, it said add new scener scenery items. So I'm assuming we can place those. <laughs> For this release, we've added a selection of five different trees, six unique rocks, and rock formations. One of the new trees is wide and low, perfect shade for dinosaurs to shelter under. Meanwhile, we've also provided some tall, leafy palms, great for lining pools and ponds with. So already Frontier get it. Frontier get it that we don't just want to use trees in enclosures. You can make some amazing customization for the park itself. Never mind the dinosaurs, it's what we've been wanting to do. For the rocks, we've aimed to provide an assortment of shapes and sizes, making it easier to break up your enclosures and wind your park paths around. Yes! <laughs> All new items are exceptionally photogenic and should be snapped alongside your prehistoric residence to really get the most out of them. They can be found in the scenery tab with the same placement and rotation controls as other buildings in games. Fantastic. Now, whether or not we'll... Oh, look at all the balls! <laughs> now, whether or not we can place them inside each other, that's something that I'd really like to be able to turn on. That way we can make our own scale them up, scale them down. I'm not too sure. It... We'll see, we'll see. These are most of the terrain and scenario, oh, scenery of- Oh god, I can't even say that. These are most of the terrain and scenery improvements coming for update 1.8 this summer. We'll be sharing more details with you in an upcoming feature focus next week. So we have to wait now a week until uh, we get something else. I'm hoping- Now this this is the thing, and now I can actually look at the park a little bit while we can look at some dinosaurs. Like, let's look at Rexy. It felt like for me, um, Frontier knew if they didn't add decorations or, you know, something else, uh, they were gonna have major backlash from the community. Already, they had a little bit of it with the recent, um, Carnivore pack, because we d I feel like they had a roadmap, and I think they've published that now, of where they wanted to go with the game and the updates coming. But... I didn't think they expected people to really want terrain customization that badly as well as decorations. A vast understatement on their part, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> they, they should have seen that. And hold on, <gasps> we can make this even more cinematic. And we've had plenty of people speculate that this was what was going to be coming 
in the um, in the newest update, in the summer update. And I, for one, I knew I knew for a fact it had to come because if they didn't, it just was not going to go well for them at all. Um, and I'm really glad they have done it because. Because it's what we want. It's what this game needs. That and a proper herd pack mentality. I feel as if the next week, uh, the next weekly focus, would probably be something on decoration. So in the, I'm guessing in the next one, it'll be more about facility or facility updates. So that way we'll have maybe, you know, some way to bring the park to life a little bit more. That, that, that by, I mean the park end of it, not the, um, the environment end of it. And I can't wait to actually blooming customize. I hope in Isla Nubla you will have the uh, addition to do both. Because we need... I, uh, I'm sorry, I can't make Isla Nubla without having this sand. This needs to be sand. So I'm hoping with the sandbox version we get, ironically, the sand brush with it. The sandbox, of course, you should be... Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. With the sandbox version, you should be able to have everything that includes all the bushes all of the train tools if i was to make it myself yeah I, have, I mean the reason why they made the islands feel different which you know was so that people would want to play the different islands um that's why we had night with one we had sunset with another and why some had a beach effect to it but when it comes to sandbox Really, we should just be able to play the sandbox and play with everything because that's the whole purpose. And I'm hoping that is the case and they're not just going to overlook that. But this is what the community has been waiting for and Frontier do listen. They have even said in this update that, you know, something like this. Oh God, I didn't mean to do that. Something like this takes time and takes coding. That's why they specifically said that. <laughs> that it does take quite some time and it's not as quick as, you know, snapping your fingers or maybe as, you know, people like me or YouTubers or content creators say it would be easy to implement. Uh, and that's them just sort of covering themselves. But anyway, guys, I'm super excited. I can't wait to actually get a bit like Zoo Tycoon 2-esque customization into it. I mean, we've already had them uh, say that they are making Planet Zoo, I think it was called. So that's going to be the spiritual successor to Zoo Tycoon. And it looks like it's going to have a lot more customization. Frontier have learnt definitely a lot when it came to, um, to Jurassic World. Uh, I mean, with Planet Zoo... Of course, they will of will allow mods. It's just universal and the whole license kind of thing that they're having a bit of a problem with. There just needs to be a few little dinosaur behavior changes, and we're on. This is what it should be, and these kind of updates will honestly extend the longevity of this game and the replayability. I mean, I'm starting to replay it through now, and these things are sorely missing, but they're coming. <laughs> Probably by the end I bloom and finish that series, but we'll start a new one and just, you know, properly. I just can't wait to see the creations that the community makes. I don't want to toot my own horn too much, but I don't know. I think I did pretty well with this. I mean, I've, I've seen some of the stuff the community has made. I've seen some other Jurassic World parks people have made and they look absolutely amazing. But, you know, even for somebody with my skills, <laughs> having the terrain brushes will just make it look even better. And I'm going to leave that here. I just want to make a short little update video. Actually, didn't have anything planned today. So thank you, Frontier, for making a video <laughs> for me. Uh, they're doing a great job. I mean, they're doing the best they can they do get a lot of bad mouthing from the community and but they are trying i do with an update like this even though they don't specifically say oh we're working on environments because they want to surprise us and maybe you know they don't want to i don't know press releases and all that jazz and you know you say one thing then it doesn't end up being in and that's even worse so they were really wanting to save this announcement for closer to the time or when they knew exactly that they were going to get these sorts of things implemented into the game so if you enjoyed this video guys leave a like and until next time i'll see you later Oh, bye-bye.